Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be playing with this Lenovo X3550 Model 4 which I took this rate controller card out of well I started by putting it in and then I took it out again because this rate controller has two external plugs I really do want to use but this rate controller was not able to work with an UEFI BIOS so we're gonna try something else today I have another rate controller that does support UEFI so uh, let's see what I'm up to first here is the project here is the server and here is the external storage for it there are 48 drives here there are 24 2 terabytes and there are 24 600 gigabytes regular viewers of my channel knows this but I need a RAID controller for this and I am gonna try and see if I can use this Adaptic RAID controller um, I have one of these sitting in the server and these were generously donated to me from Christian here in Denmark so this ray controller let's have it out of the box I have one sitting in the server that we're gonna be doing this with but let's just see this one and um, it has the new plugs for ray controllers I forget what these are called but I think we will get into that in just a little bit because I have something in the box here but there are no external thingies here so we need some external thingies and I have ordered those Here we go, two external plugs and they are converted from these connections which are they called 8043s? I forget but I have a note here because I have ordered some cables for this and the, the note says what this is. These are 8643 plugs and these over here are 80, 87 plugs. So this cable will will do the trick it will go from from this connector there and it will go to the connector the 8087 on the external thing here like that so in theory we should have an external connection now the server has onboard disks so I needed some more connectors. This one is actually the one that I was thinking about using for the onboard disks. So um, yeah, let's go down into the server and see um, how it looks down there. Okay, here is the server. Let's um, take this air director thing away. Um, in the front, I have room for four drives and we need those. So, and they have a cable going over here. So that is in play. Over here we have the rate controller sitting. So we need one of those cables to go back here because I want to make this rate controller obsolete so that the server only has one rate controller in here. And it just happens that this rate controller does not fit in that spot, which is unfortunate, but we will manage. So we'll try and put in these external connections We'll put them in over here. This is only a half height PCI Express card. So there was an extra bracket there somewhere. Where did that go? Here. We will mount that instead of this full height bracket. And that should slide in here just perfectly. It doesn't really need the expansion card for anything. It, um, it just needs to sit there, which is it's kind of wasteful, but well, it does the job, I'm hoping. So let's, so I have a tiny screwdriver here. Let's see if that will, yeah, it will loosen the screws. Here, that became a lot smaller, so now we can put it in. Oops, in here, remove that, and fit it in here. Uh oh, it does not fit in there now. That 
that's unfortunate. Okay, I have definitely run into a bit of problems here. As you can see, when I try to put this card in here, it, um, it conflicts with the PCI Express port here on this riser card. So the only thing that I can try is to remove the PCI Express um, print from this. I'm not sure if the server is going to be able to run without this, but we'll have to give it a try. Okay, I have mounted it in the now empty bracket. I took the tiny little riser card out of there and was able to mount this. Um, you know that you have made a nasty ninja hack when you um, when you have the file out and uh, add just fine tune this. It's not a good thing. Um, never file anything in over the server. Um, you'll get metal stuff in there and it's no good. So now this um, fits over here. Uh, very snugly. I have no idea if this is gonna work. If the server is just gonna be complaining that oh I lost my riser card. But um, well I'm willing to give it that chance. So um, we can take this card out now. There. Uh, I forget what this is. I think it's an 11, 11, 15, 11, 14, 11, 15. Um, it would have been nice if we could just have put another one in there, same size, like this one, which we could have put in there. This is a 5015, and it would sit there very well. But, well, yeah, that will be another day. So now we need some cables for this thing. We need the cable to go up in front of the server and I have one here and I believe that that might just be the right length. So we're gonna try and exchange this cable that is in here. Uh, that one. Are we in view? We are not in view down here. So we'll take that out. And we will Persuade that to come out. We'll put these other cables in the bottom. We're not gonna need those to come out, so we might as well put the. There. So we need this one to go around, and hopefully it's just long enough. Um, I didn't order this as an exact science, I just, well, half a meter might do the trick. I think this is half a meter. It's a little bit longer than it needs to be, but better too long than too short. We haven't had the rate controller out yet. This is a PCI Express X10 um, slot that is in here, but it's really only an X8 which is perfect for this card because that's also only an X8. So let's, uh, the front discs, let's put that up in channel number one. Let's put that up there. It's furthest away from everything. This rate controller can handle 24 drives with normal cables and it can handle 250 drives, I think it is, with uh, port extensions. So, so far so good. I have a couple of other cables here. And they are the same kind, um, very nicely wrapped here. It, this often delays my project getting stuff. These came from China and that can often take a couple of weeks at least. Here we have the SAS connector 8643 and that goes over to the SAS connector. 8087 I hope that is called so we will try and plug those in now I'll put this in so let's I did not remove this plastic thing there ah. 
Easier said than done. I should have put those in before I put this one in. And I think I need to put some tape on here. It looks like it could be able to do some some bad things that are here. I'm a sucker for tape. And every time Lidl has tape on a discount, well, I just go ahead and buy some. Um, tape is a magic thing. It always just disappears when you need it. You thought you had a lot of it, but when you need it, it's gone. So it's good to, um, to, to stock up on. And this thing is not gonna get hot in any way. So I'm just gonna insulate the back of it with a bit of tape already made so many ninja tricks on this so it's one more little ninja trick is not gonna have any impact so a couple of pieces of tape so that it does not go and short circuit anything in this bracket so we are gonna put the connections in and there is no numbering on these but down here it says that this is channel 4 and this is channel 2 so the this is the smaller ones and doesn't have any doesn't mean anything but and we have two cables coming out of that so um, I wanted to put those in the last two channels on this board, 4 and 5. So it starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So let's see, this one was the least one, so that will be channel 4. Sounds like TV. You have tuned in to channel 4. Um, <laughs> and this one will be channel 5. So that's um, that's the plan so far. That's a, that's a mess with these cables. Um, it's not good to have too many cables in here, it will restrict the airflow. And as these are pretty decent CPUs, you uh, don't want anything really behind that, because you could damage something. But, well, let's just not stress it. Now that I have a piece of tape, I will try and keep these two screws safe um, for the riser card. We'll need to put that back on, so I'll keep that safe up here. I think we are ready to close this up, see how this goes. Server is connected in the back, let's turn it on. Funny thing is that when I turn it on here, I get the noise from over here, which is really funny. System is booting. I'm not a big fan of this screen um, after this server uh, died on me. And right in a moment, it will add something to that. Or maybe it won't. But yeah. I'm gonna try and go into the BIOS and see if I can access the RAID controller through the Wi-Fi BIOS. We have some complaining down here. I'm guessing RAID control riser card NMI. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see how far we get. Okay, I'm afraid that it does not really boot, it just reboots. So, um, yeah, um, I'm guessing that the riser card needs to be there for the server to behave. So, ah, damn. Okay, I've made this even more stupid. I have just put the riser card back in, and not put in the, the bracket behind, and I just put this board around the back. So I'm gonna try that and see if that um, if that's the issue. Um, this is not a workable solution. I would I would not go with this. Okay, server is back in rack, connected in the back. Let's um, try and see how far we get.
it doesn't look good. It still complains down here. Era NMI non maskable interrupt, I think that is. Ah. And it just booted, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that's no good. Oh, and it turned off. Hmm. Okay, I've put everything back to its original form, um, including taking out this PCI Express card, because something is surely not working in here. So um, the idea still seems okay, even though this one did not fit. It did not fit very well in my server. It f I. I Check. It fits really well if you are able to use this big bracket, but the small bracket, not so much. It's actually really much in the way of the PCI Express port or connection down here, which is stupid. These cables, they were available in multiple lengths, and I was very happy about actually getting one that would go all the way up here and two smaller ones. These could have been smaller, even smaller, and still have done an okay job. I'm not sure why this is not working, but it's not working. I've already ordered some new RAID controllers, LSI RAID controllers like this, a half height PCI Express car with two external plugs, and they'll be coming in. I've ordered them on Amazon in the USA, so they are coming to me as fast as possible which has um, shown to be a bit of a challenge this time, but I'm sure they will get here eventually. So I'm afraid that's another project that didn't go as planned and probably $50, not that well spent. But, well, I still have the cables. They might end up in another project someday. Maybe this card will go into a regular server, not be used for external ports. These cables will still be good in most of my servers. So. Uh, Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do hit the bell thing if you are regular here on my channel. It helps um, when you get notified of my new videos. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.